Hi all, let's have a look at another very exciting game from Gibraltar 2018. Jan Christoph Duda was playing against Hikaru Nakamura, who is one of my favourite super GMs. And he didn't disappoint in this game. Very, very exciting game. Let's have a look. E4, Nakamura plays the Sicilian defence, knight f3, d6. And actually, we see the very, very exciting dragon variation, the Sicilian dragon. Bishop e3, bishop g7. This is very, very theoretical and well trodden. White castles, queen side, d5, key move. It's all been seen before. e5, hitting that knight. e takes d, and now usually knight takes d5 rather than c takes. All pretty standard stuff. Bishop c4, bishop e6. King moves. Rook b8. Black would like to get some sort of attack and liberate this bishop, usually the dragon bishop, but it's firmly blockaded for the moment. Any f5, there's knight g5. We have here queen c7, bishop c5, the rook goes to d8 to stop bishop d6. It went to e8, bishop d6. g4. So it seems this dragon bishop's not getting out for the moment h6 h4 but now here f5 white takes g takes the knight goes back and there's a possibility of knight h5 this is addressed but also adding strength to this battery which should be free and now the rooks double it seems very very logical to double the rooks like this in the center h5 was played king h7 queen a5 now here, Nakamura plays knight f4, so even at the expense of pawn structure, he's trying to wrench open this bishop on this diagonal. And although the rooks have been centralized, maybe one of them can return back later to help that bishop. Rook takes d7, so a couple of rooks come off, and white does take the plunge to damage the structure there. And now in this position, with that pinned bishop, this seems quite a neat move actually, queen e1. And if black ever takes there, then it kind of shields the white king on the b-file. We have bishop d5. Now here, uh, bishop b4 was played. Maybe trying to just parry this bishop on the diagonal. It seems though that the downside which black introduced trying to open up this bishop could be tapped into it seems instead of that with queen h4 this might be the stronger idea and for example a5 queen takes f4 giving up f6 there even because in this position it should be okay for white yeah white might be able to afford to do this it seems uh, just continue a bit white has a small edge there so maybe that was the way to go to try and win this pawn I know queen stopping queen f6 there but even if that's allowed it seems okay so technically that might have been the way to go here this move that was played now really lets Nakamura get a, a much better position with a key move here can you see what black plays? This is a really key move now, exploiting this slight inaccuracy. If I give you five seconds, black to play. Okay. C5. Yeah, it's trying to deflect the bishop away from bishop c3. Now, if white takes this, he didn't. Then queen f6, this position is actually quite okay for black at least okay for black this position here it's even position but maybe that's that's what white should have done uh white actually played bishop takes d5 we have queen takes bishop a3 and now black's really getting in the driving seat now after queen takes f3 because although the structure is damaged there is a running pass pawn here which can be used to deflect resources away Bishop takes c5, rook b7, and this bishop a fine view has a fine view on b2 now and coordinated. 
B3 creating potentially fatal dark square weaknesses. Black's opening as you could now consider as being a major success. Once that dragon bishop is breathing fire down the diagonal, this is very, very good uh, fun. So queen d5, bishop a3, queen d4, threatening queen a1 checkmate, c3, check, king b2, f3, trying to distract the queen away potentially with f2 away from c3. So that has to be addressed. White tries to with this, but brilliant combination now. Very, very strong. Black sort of creates a weakness of the last move here with, can you guess if I give you five seconds? Okay, F2, yeah, the queen can't take because of C3. The bishop takes, creating a weakness of the last move, which is it's not covering E7. It lets black in with this beautiful deflection of of the queen again c3 so if the queen moves as doesn't take the rook there's rook e2 so queen takes e7 and the point is revealed queen takes c3 check now if king b1 there's queen b2 checkmate the king goes to a3 but alas queen a5 is checkmate here so the dragon bishop helping the final checkmate and it's all on dark squares dark square play so a fantastic finish there by Nakamura in this game. Very, very tactical, very, very exciting. He really delivered a super exciting game there, in my view, playing with the black pieces all out for the win with the Sicilian Dragon. So many fans to Naka for such brilliant, dynamic, aggressive chess. Okay, comments, questions, likes, shares, appreciated. Thanks very much.